Progress. <laughs> Progress is being made. We can see the floor, guys. We can see the floor. He didn't want y'all to know he built it because he <laughs> he didn't want um, requests. <laughs> <laughs> I did it for my baby girl. Thanks, Dad. This thing was giving us all types of trouble. It gave me trouble when I first hung it in Columbus, but I just did. My dad is a perfectionist, okay? So when he does things, he wants it to be right. And so it took us a while, but it's up there. But um, I'll give you all a more detailed look at this stuff. I just wanted to check in because so much has happened. Progress. So much. It's a good thing. And we also got Chipotle and the guy that's working Chipotle. Shout out to you. Whoever you are. Whoever you are. Because he gave us about triple portion. And you know Chipotle does not like to give out food. Right. For some now, reason. Don't say that. That's going to be on YouTube. Oh. But everybody knows Chipotle don't be, be mean. They be stingy with it. But he was giving out all the portions. Maybe it's because they were about to close, but. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm a little fool. But we eating our Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Dad is testing out my new wine glasses. Mm -hmm. And things are coming together. Well you guys, the time has come. My family. I uh, kidnapped them for two extra days. <laughs> <laughs> And they are now finally going back to Ohio. So it's not kidnapped when they come willingly. Yes. But I still I kinda tricked them in the stand. So so much so that JT took a car. I don't know if I said that. JT took a rental car back um a couple of days ago because he had to get back. So but I looped them in the stand. So anywho, I'm currently sitting on the floor because I bought a couch yesterday. I recorded all of that, but it'll be in a different video. Bought a couch, haven't bought a rug yet, um, but most everything is set up. I know it looks like there's still boxes and things, but I really just have to do my bedroom, well, my bathroom, and somebody's coming to Mount Cook TV uh, in a couple of minutes, actually, so. Yeah, things are coming together, guys. They really are. Um, and I'm excited. I am. So, you know, we were throwing some curveballs. And I'm still, you know, getting over my feelings of that. But um, overall, I'm still excited. I'm very excited about this internship and this opportunity. It's going to be so fire. I just know it is. Like, there's a reason that I'm here. And I'm ready. I'm ready to see what, what's going to happen. Mom and Dad are crazy.
creation is growing. Thank you, Cry on the way out, I guess. Seal it. 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 Seal uh, in this case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that it is. If you find your bags, my fingerprints will not be on. Thanks. You're gonna do great things. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, they're hitting the road. See you, Gabe. See you soon. They'll be back in a minute. That's why I ain't stressed. They're gonna be back in 10 minutes. Especially because we didn't get to go to DC. Yeah, DC when we come back. When they come back. Okay. Be safe. Love you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Love you too. Hi y'all. Um, I don't know what day this is for vlogs. I feel like this is just one continuous video and I don't know how I'm gonna chop it and screw it. I don't know. So I don't know what outfits you're gonna see. I don't know if you've already seen this outfit. Actually no, this is the first time I'm recording this outfit. That is a good shower. But um, yeah, my parents left. A little bit earlier um, and I have it's echoing in here finally because I have emptied the living room so there is nothing in here as far as boxes and stuff because this is kind of like our holding room for everything um, I still have to do the bedroom and the bathroom the bedroom is like 50% 75% done um, but yeah like I said I'm officially by myself now so it's like oh my gosh what's happening this is really real um, but I feel good. I feel really good and I'm super excited about this and I'm gonna shop them out. Obviously this is not sponsored so I mean I'm not even big enough for that yet in my mind. But anyway, my TV y'all is officially mounted. I got a swivel mount from Amazon. I'll make sure to put it in the description box but I got a swivel mount because the room is kind of designed funny so this is actually where my couch is gonna be. Um, I bought a couch, I said this in the last one of these videos, that I bought a couch from Ashley Furniture Home Store here locally, um, but it won't be in until next Friday. It won't be delivered till next Friday. So this wall with the um, fireplace is slanted. So I bought a swivel that, hopefully I can do this and record. It like pulls out this way. Oh, okay, so now I'll show you sitting flat against this wall now I can see the TV over here and then if I am um, cooking in the kitchen and I want TV in there then I can just turn it so that it faces the kitchen so I'm super excited about this um, it was installed by a company called Pulse um, I literally just googled this morning like services for TV mounting because I tried like Home Advisor and um, no, I think Home Advisor was the only one I tried, but it was obnoxious. Like literally, I it was obnoxious and it was super expensive and I was like, no thanks. So this morning I, I just googled, found this company called Pulse who hires their own technicians, um, like it's all through their service and then they send people out in certain cities as you request um, a service. And so TV mounting was one of their services and I literally scheduled it this morning. They came at, what time? My appointment was at two. He came early because um, one of his earlier appointments canceled 
and the guy was so nice. He was so nice. He asked me for a broom afterward so he could clean up his mess. I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, we tipped him real good because the service was great. And it was $100, I think, which um, compared to Home Advisor and some of these other places who were trying to charge me $200, I'm like, that's how much the TV was. Why am I paying you the price of a TV to mount the TV? Um, so yeah, I had my own mount, so that did save me some money. Today, my goal is to finish unpacking. Like I said, there are still tons of boxes and things in my room to unpack. Not tons. This is definitely not tons compared to how many I had when we first came in here, okay? Um, but yeah, so my goal is to finish that and then the closet and the bathroom in the other room. And so, yeah, I'll record that for you guys tonight. I'm actually gonna go right now. We got some of our groceries yesterday from a store called Wegmans. Um, it's actually really nice, but kind of more like a Whole Foods as far as pricing. And I was like, hmm, where are the Aldi's at? Cause that's in my budget. So I found plenty of Aldi's. So I'm gonna go to Aldi, get some groceries. I'm gonna try to find a desk chair. Um, because this was originally my desk chair, but it's just not, it's not the business. Like it's just not, it's not comfortable, it's too low. It's just not good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do that, try to find a desk chair, get the rest of my groceries from Aldi, and then I'll come back and we can finish unpacking. Um, I wanna try my air fryer, but I think I'm gonna wait and save that for another video, cause this one might get long as I finish my room. I'm gonna stop talking and hurry up and get to Aldi before it closes, and then I'll check back in tonight when we finish unpacking. This chair that I have will be my desk chair for a little bit longer. But um, yeah, I'm currently watching, um, it's Judy's Life. So they just had their baby girl. And this is the vlog of them bringing her home. I think her name is Leah, baby Leah. And then the Ace family is what I'm watching after this. They just had their baby boy. I'm obsessed with YouTube families. I can't help it. <laughs> today and um, first of all let me apologize for my attire I have been looking real whatever in all of these videos and the main reason is because y'all remember back when I got rid of my entire wardrobe <laughs> and then I never replaced the wardrobe that the, the, the turnover was supposed to be a little bit quicker and I do apologize for the sound of the washer machine in the background doing its best work but um yeah the turnaround for getting a new wardrobe was supposed to be way quicker but then it got awkward as far as shipping like do i ship here um do i ship to columbus because i was liking that awkward like week and week and a half where i wasn't sure when the things were going to come in so i made the decision to just wait which has resulted in me just wearing t-shirts leggings with holes in them and head wraps for you because moving life 
So anyways, I bought new hangers for my closet and my clothes. So we're gonna get those things up and running and then we're gonna get the bathroom area situated and then we'll be done. Thank you.